Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about a severe geomagnetic storm that will be impacting Earth tonight which could bring some amazing northern lights to the United States. We'll also be discussing the threat for severe weather on Tuesday and the flooding concerns in the United States. I'll give you the latest breakdown and everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with the northern lights forecast for tonight. I know a lot of you are wondering can I I see northern lights will there be cloud cover all that sort of stuff i'm going to break down for you right now so let's begin with the probabilities first beginning with the central plains in that yellow shaded color and this is the area that i think has the lowest chance to see northern lights usually with geomagnetic storms we'll see northern lights back up into canada but in this case since it's a severe geomagnetic storm we could see northern lights as far south as areas like arkansas maybe even oklahoma but again it's a very low chance tonight the chance increases the further north you go in my honest opinion the most realistic forecast for this will be in the green shaded region so if you're back up in very far northern missouri into the midwest northern plains and the northeast you will easily have the best chance to see the northern lights tonight now for those back in the yellow shaded region it's not a zero chance but again the chance is very low i'd say under 20 percent chance that you actually see northern lights but we also have to account for the cloud cover because a lot of you are going to be wondering can i actually see the northern lights even though they might be present above my head well well, in terms of the cloud cover tonight, there will be a lot of cloud cover. This is the current satellite imagery. There's already a lot of cloud cover across areas in the Midwest. This is all due to a low pressure system that has been sitting over Canada for the last 24 to 48 hours. This is finally going to move out tomorrow, but again, the geomagnetic storm is happening tonight. So overall, there's going to be a lot of cloud cover, and a lot of that is going to just sit there. For those back through the central plains, high pressure is dominating. However, there is some cloud cover due to the fact this ridge is not very strong. It's a fairly weak high pressure system but there is some cloud cover it shouldn't be too bad tonight and if there is any northern lights visible from the central plains you should be able to see it and then back in the northern plains same story there unless you're in minnesota i think you'll be all right seeing the northern lights back over in the northeast same story a lot of cloud cover unlikely unlikely you'll see anything there's a cold front also moving down to the south so if the northern lights are visible in like tennessee or kentucky you actually might be able to see them tonight it just depends on how quickly this cloud cover does move out and for the forecasted cloud cover cover for tonight any of the blue shaded region at least means some cloud cover it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be completely overcast but i'll give you a breakdown of what areas will have actually a chance to see it even though you might be in some of the blue so this is around 10 to 11 o'clock tonight that's probably going to be your best chance to see it you'll notice back up in the midwest this is where the thickest of the cloud cover will be as well as back down into areas in the southern plains which again southern plains in the southeast i don't think you'll be able to see really anything if you're back in between those two areas again there's high pressure you should be able to see it there will only be a few clouds for the most part maybe a thin layer of clouds you should still be able to see something especially if you cross the central plains back through parts of the ohio valley and the northern plains a big gap there of clear skies you should be able to see some northern lights tonight if they are obviously present which again the chances of that do seem to be much higher the further north you go now let's discuss the severe weather potential for this week in addition to the big pattern change coming to the united states we're first going to begin with what's happening today notice back down in texas by the way this is where we actually had an enhanced risk of severe weather this morning damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour were happening down there and we have a huge complex of storms going into the gulf of mexico crazy stuff there the infrared imagery is picking up on very high cloud tops which when you see these white colors that represents very cold temperatures aloft so overall very impressive line of storms there but elsewhere we're really just watching again a high pressure system in the central plains and then back over into canada that is where a low pressure system is located that's keeping a lot of the cloud cover there as i mentioned before and some showers and storms are still going on in the northeast but a big pattern change is coming we're going to eventually see that low pressure system move out which will open the door for a little positively tilted trough which a lot of the time with the last several severe weather events we've had they've been negatively tilted and what that does is increase the severe weather potential luckily this low pressure system will be positively tilted that does not mean severe weather is not zero because we actually have a chance for some significant severe weather in the southern plains later this week but it is definitely going to be interesting to see how this plays out because we'll be watching for a lot more rain than anything with el nino right around the corner this is definitely gonna be something to watch for with our pattern over the spring and as well as into the summer eventually going to thursday and friday that low pressure system will start to move off to the north or east excuse me and then eventually going into saturday into sunday our next storm system may pack a punch of severe weather to potentially the eastern tier of the united states we'll have to watch that closely again there are several days out until we actually see that event now let's talk about what this actually looks like on the future radar we'll begin with tomorrow 
again high pressure dominating the eastern half of the united states cloud cover eventually moves out i know terrible timing for the northern lights but once we go into late monday into tuesday that is when we'll be watching for that low pressure system to develop back over in the southwest united states this will start to spur up some showers and storms much colder air uh, at the surface is going to keep severe weather overall low on early tuesday but severe weather may crank up during the afternoon and evening i'll talk about more on that here in a second but we very well could see some really nasty hail storms once we go into wednesday showers and storms continue more severe weather may occur around or just south of the red river valley in oklahoma and eventually going into thursday that shower and storm system will move off to the east so rain pushes over to the southeast and then we'll be watching for another low pressure system back up into the midwest severe weather is not expected out of that at this time and then once we go into the weekend again we may see a pretty large scale trough develop on the eastern half of the united states this may bring some severe weather but at this time it looks like a lot more rain than anything which is definitely beneficial for some areas as i previously mentioned there is a risk of severe weather on tuesday and right now the storm prediction center has outlined a slight risk of severe weather from north texas back through southeast texas and then a marginal threat that extends into oklahoma and back through louisiana the main concern will be large to very large hail especially across areas in north texas back through southeast texas however there is a chance for some isolated damaging winds i do not foresee much of any tornado risk out of this event which is fantastic news now in terms of the setup there will be a lot of instability which instability is like putting gasoline into a vehicle it's essentially what fuels severe thunderstorms and there will be plenty of that across texas on tuesday afternoon and evening and there will even be more of that going into wednesday but the instability does shift a bit further down to the south so there is a chance for severe weather on wednesday but the threat should be marginal maybe a low end slight risk and it should be down in south and southeast texas overall maybe a low chance back up into north texas oklahoma shouldn't be too bad in terms of the moisture there will be a lot of humidity coming into obviously texas we're right next to the gulf coast so there's gonna be a lot of humidity rising with these strong southerly winds we'll definitely see dew points into the 50s and 60s which which is supportive of severe weather and that will create some buoyancy to increase that threat of severe weather let's discuss the timing primarily going into tuesday is gonna be a lot of showers and storms we'll have the chance for severe weather near and just south of the red river valley that is where those hail storms could form and that could bring the threat for some significant hail and maybe some isolated damaging winds once we go into wednesday showers and storms will continue again maybe a little bit of severe weather probably south of interstate 20 and then once we go into thursday that shower and storm activity will eventually shift off to the east and i also mentioned this there will be a ton of rain and this could lead to some isolated flooding upwards of three to four inches of rain might fall in isolated locations as we go through thursday and friday so again make sure if you're on the roadways and you see water flooding over underpasses make sure you turn around don't drown thanks for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting